Welcome to the World History 2, week 3 video. Uh, I hope that your first two weeks of school have been accommodating and enriching for your academic experience. As stated in previous videos, you can expect these weekly videos to be posted on the Sunday page of your Beyond Classroom or BC platform pages. So let's take a look at, at a preview for the coming week. We will be wrapping up our topic from last week that has to do with Europeans conquesting Asia. As you know, in this course, we always start with Europe and their explorations. So we know that Korea and Japan in week two had a policy to a great extent of self-isolation. We're going to discuss the causes and effects that's had on them. We're going to be speaking about Japan's relationship with China and it's sending its emissaries to China and the role that they played in Japan's story in the Middle Ages. Moving on next, we will talk about the results of the first encounters between the Spanish and Native Americans. This has overlap with the U.S. history classes. This is where it kicks off in U.S. history. Spain, as discussed before, was a major power, a superpower in the Middle Ages. It would be like the United States today, for example. And of course, we are familiar by now in our course with Native Americans. So the relationship and the effects of the first encounters between the Spanish and the natives will be discussed. We'll also be discussing the impact of Spanish conquistadors or conquerors and European colonization or control of foreign territory on the Aztec and Inca empires. We'll be discussing the Aztec in a little more detail. They will, we will focus on the Aztecs a little more. The Aztecs, as you know, as you know, would be uh, Mexico pre-Columbus. Okay, that is the the quick hack for remembering the Aztecs. We talk about them as Mexico pre-Columbus. We'll be wrapping up the week with a few subjects. So, Portugal, Spain's rival in in the European world and in its exploration and seafaring, uh, how it challenged Spanish power. They were rivals. They had a lot of uh, conflicts for and fights for power. So we're just we're going to discuss how Portugal, who has key figures like Henry the Navigator, and others have tried to challenge Spanish power. We will be analyzing the major features of Spanish colonial government, society, and culture. So a colonial government is when a one country takes over another and installs its own government there. And the instructions and rule come from a foreign land. We know that as a colony. So we will be discussing the sociological effects of that on the demogra demographics, on the culture and on government. We'll wrap up the week with speaking about the French colonization in North America. We will be discussing, for instance, the French influence and control and colonization of the state of Louisiana, uh, as an example. So we will be discussing those topics. It will require some research in class and at home, as well as all the resources that we will incorporate in the unit. Thank you.